later. Yeah, okay, so we're gonna head there. I think my buddy's gonna come back. Oh, hey, he's for Shizzle. Hey, guys. Hey, hey Miss for Shizzle. I couldn't help but overhear your conversation about hookah smoking, and I'm afraid to tell you, you're a bit misinformed. How do you know? Well, I am a librarian, and besides from reading romance novels, I do a lot of research, and I've read the literature about it. But I hear you guys are going to a hookah bar later today. Yeah, yeah. yeah, so I'm done for the day. Maybe I can come with you guys and explain why shisha or hookah isn't actually as good as it seems to be. You guys up for an adventure? Yep. Here we go again. Here we are, girls, at the hookah bar. You guys see that pipe right over there? We're actually going to shrink ourselves, and when the next person smokes, we're going to get a tour of their body from the inside. Are you guys ready? All right, before we continue with this adventure, we have to look at some misconceptions associated with hookah smoking. You guys are university students, right? A study looked at students at two southeastern universities in the United States and found that students perceived hookah to be one of the least addictive tobacco products out there. A different study found that the majority of hookah users believe that hookah is less harmful than cigarette smoking. Some people perceive hookah as not being harmful because of the belief that the smoke gets filtered into the water. Jen, you were saying something about this before, right? Studies have shown that using water as a filter in hookah did not change the level of nicotine in the smoke compared to that without using the water. Let's get this tour started, shall we? We're in the mouth right now. Did you know that secondhand smoke and transmission of infectious diseases are also associated with hookah because the hookah mouthpiece is used by many people during the same smoking session? That's a mouthful right there. Touché. This mouth really is a smoky room, isn't it? I'm not surprised. The number of puffs and volume from using hookah is about 10 times higher than cigarettes. Let's keep going and take a look at the lungs. Look at that tar lining. The burning temperature of tobacco in hookah is twice as much as that for cigarettes, which could lead to different types and levels of harmful chemicals in tar. I just searched information about them on my phone. Those products don't have any nicotine which is found in tobacco, but data shows that there is no significant difference between the tobacco-containing hookah and tobacco-free hookah in terms of formation of tar, carbon monoxide, volatile aldehyde, and polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbons. These substances contribute to things like cardiovascular disease, lung disease, and cancer. So yeah, non-tobacco hookah is ex not exactly the safest thing in the world either. It's so nice of you to back up my argument about hookah, Madison. Here we are. Bloody amazing, isn't it? The person's been smoking tobacco-based hookah. You can see the nicotine traces in the blood. Hookah smoke contains 36 times the amount of nicotine and higher concentrations of heavy metals in comparison to cigarettes. But not that kind of heavy metal. You know what I mean. Miss Fushizel, I've only used hookah a few times for roughly 30 minutes at a time. You don't think that's made that much of an impact on me, do you? It's interesting that you say that, Jen. A recent study actually had hookah smokers aged 18 to 34 smoke for 30 minutes and looked at potential cardiovascular effects. I think the guy that we're inside has been smoking for about 30 minutes now. Let's see what's going on in his cardiovascular system. His heart rate has increased by about 16 beats per minute. There's a noticeable increase in the stiffness of his arteries, which are blood vessels carrying blood away from his heart. And a single session of hookah smoking causes an acute increase in arterial stiffness that is comparable to what has been previously reported for cigarette smoking. The exact toxic agent causing this stiffness is believed to be nicotine. 
I heard the stiffening of large arteries can lead to the development of hypertension, which is continuously elevated blood pressure in the arteries. That's right, Madison. Speaking of blood pressure, notice that there's an increase in his body's systolic pressure, which is the pressure of blood against blood vessel walls when the heart is beating, and an increase in his diastolic pressure, which is that pressure when the heart is resting between beats. Just 30 minutes of smoking hookah has caused this. I heard people often spend more than 30 minutes smoking hookah at hookah cafes. Precisely. The vascular effects that you see in this body represent the lower limit of what routinely occurs at hookah cafes. Jen, even though people don't smoke hookah as often as cigarettes are smoked, you have to keep in mind that the duration of each hookah session is much longer. You smoke cigarettes, buddy. You might want to look into the effects of those. But I am starting to think that maybe hookah isn't a much safer alternative to tobacco products like cigarettes, as it's often advertised to be. We should get going. Let's walk back to the mouth and wait for this guy to blow some O's. Arr, I'm Captain Hookah. Miss Faux Shizzle, I don't think you've painted a complete picture of hookah here. That study that you were talking about, which had participants smoke for 30 minutes, had some flaws. Its participants were all young adults, but older people and even underage people smoke hookah as well. As well, they only studied one branch of hookah tobacco, so you can't generalize these results to other brands. And it's not like the study found evidence that hookah smoking has long-term cardiovascular effects. Not unlike cigarettes, for which there's a lot of data suggesting long-term cardiovascular effects. Keep this in mind, and remember to smoke hookah every day, because it's often fruit-flavored and fruit is good for you. Arr. Captain Hookah made some good points. You should always consider other sides to an argument, but in this case, there's plenty of evidence that hookah is not a safe alternative to cigarettes. Captain Hookah's right though. More research needs to be put into investigating the long-term health effects of hookah. Anyways guys, let's get going! Oh, wow, oh, that was so fun! Yeah, thanks Ms. Bushizel for showing us all about hookah. There's so many misconceptions that now make more sense. No problem guys, and hope you stay off the cigarettes and hope you stop smoking hookah. Yeah, <laughs> I will. And I actually, I'll, I'll, spread, I'll spread that information to my friends because I think it's a really common misconception. Sounds good guys. I'm going to head back to the library now. You girls have fun. See ya. Do you think she lives at the library? 